was something I'd always romanticised, the idea of recording onto tape. It's great just to watch the reels move around. I listened to Hendrix for the first time when I was about 13, and I'd never heard anything like it. And I, I still feel like that sound is, is, is unique. People have imitated it, but no one's ever really sounded like you since. Shining emptiness down on my bed. And then that led me to people like Lightning Hopkins and John Lee Hooker and Sunhouse and Mississippi Fred McDowell. And I was listening to recordings from the early 60s of these guys when they came to the UK for the first time as part of the, the folk revival. And uh, what really got me was hearing their voices, hearing guys like Sunhouse, the way they spoke. The, the language they used and just the sound of their voices was like something from another world. John the Revelator is one of the first songs I remember hearing from Sun House on, um, on this live album from maybe 1961 when he went over to the UK. And he played nine songs and then the crowd are shouting for John the Revelator. And he, he does it a cappella actually, it's, it's fantastic. Now tell me who's that riding John the River leader Tell me who's that riding John the River leader Tell me who's that riding John the River leader Wrote that book of the seven seals I, I think I used to feel that me playing solo was sort of playing unaccompanied, like there was something missing, there wasn't a band there. But, but listening to early John Lee Hooker recordings where it's just him and the acoustic guitar the, the intensity and the kind of voodoo magic of the groove when it's just him, his boogie with nothing else, is just so much more compelling and, and unique than when you put a band behind it. So I wanted to think of playing solo like that. Stop running. Stand still. Sit down for a minute. And chill. Yep. Um, there's, uh, there's a couple of new songs in there. There's a song called The Lipsy, which is a, uh, a dance that was invented by the East German secret police in the maybe the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, they, uh, there was a book that uh, came out maybe 10 years ago called Stasi Land, written by an Australian journalist called Anna Funda. And I read it a couple of months ago, and it really, it really made an impression on me because my mum was born in East Germany. That's where my family had been for generations, and she, uh, her, her father had to flee the country. He was going to be arrested by the Stasi, and he, he got a call in the middle of the night that uh, the police were coming to arrest him the next day. He got on his motorbike and, and sped across the border, and then the rest of the family came when mum was three years old. They came over on the train to Stuttgart and started again, uh, her father working in the Mercedes factory. And uh, the Lipsy, they, they were threatened by rock and roll. They were sort of worried what, what this decadent Western thing would do to the, the young people in East Germany. So they came up with their own dance, uh, which is, uh, I, I've never seen it, but it's described very uh, evocatively in the book by, by Anna Funder. She described it as rock and roll with all the sex taken out. So I thought that was, um, that just, that just grabbed me, that idea of, uh, of having a groove that would sort of accompany a dance like that and writing a song, kind of a blues song from the perspective of, of a young person growing up in East Germany, knowing that just across the wall this really exciting thing is happening that uh, they're being protected from by the state. And, and I also like the absurdity of, of the secret police thinking they can just come up with a dance that will somehow be uh, as exciting to the kids as, as rock and roll was. They gotta dance for the good young socialist Oh, it's hectic, oh, it's frantic But not sexual or romantic The comma's quick and easy Exclamation mark is a slut The full stop is just a tease Unless it's right at the end of the book Punctuation is sexual You gotta put it in just the right place You know the colon is filthy The semicolon goes both ways 